2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD Review, Working Class Hero With heavy-duty pickups being at the top of the popularity list in the USA, the stakes are high for the Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD and its competitors, which include tough heavy-duty trucks like the Ford F-250, Ram 2500, and Stablemate GMC Sierra 2500. Until it's redesigned for the 2020 model year, the Chevy lagged well behind its rivals, but came in swinging with a stylish new look and fresh engine. The 2023 truck is once again a force to be reckoned with, but time doesn't stand still, a major updated is coming next year, so while every comparative review of the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD is likely to praise its excellent diesel powertrain and top-class towing tech and numbers, it will also note its plasticky cabin, underwhelming gas V8, and somewhat agricultural driving feel. It's no longer a true class leader, but it's available in a multitude of cab and powertrain configurations, and its starting price is competitive, so it still commands plenty of respect. 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD Changes, What's the Difference Versus the 2022 Silverado 2500 HD? A few years have passed since the launch of the fourth generation and Chevrolet is planning a major update of the truck for the 2024 model year. The 2023 Silverado 2500 HD won't change at all in anticipation of bigger things to come next year. Pros and Cons Powerful diesel engine Excellent towing capability and tech Lots of body and powertrain combinations Practical multifunction tailgate option Decent ride quality Underwhelming interior design and materials Vague, numb steering. Six-speed gas V8 no longer class leading. Poor brake feel. What's the price of the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD? There is a bewildering array of body and powertrain configurations available, but the base price of the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD is $41,500 for the WT2WD regular cab with the standard V8 gas engine. The LT2WD starts at $45,700, as does the custom model in double cab configuration. The LTZ2WD double cab will cost you $55,300, and then there's a big jump to the high country which is only available in crew cab with 4WD starting at $69,500. A spec up high country with the diesel engine and extras can fly well past $80,000, so keep an eye on how many boxes you tick to add to the MSRP. These prices exclude the $1,895 destination fee. Opting for 4WD adds $2,800 to the base price, and replacing the 6.6L gas V8 with the 6.6L turbo diesel V8 adds a hefty $11,990 to the bill, plus another $995 if you add integrated power takeoff PTO, on models with this option. Extending the bed from standard to long adds $200. Not all configurations are available on all trims, for example, the high country does not get access to the PTO option, and the diesel option adds a lower $9,750 to this trim's price. The most expensive Silverado is the high country for WD crew cab with the long bed and diesel engine at $79.45, before extras and destination. 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD Handling and Driving Impressions In this class, heavy-duty suspension and a leaf-sprung rear end are par for the course, and an HD truck is not expected to deliver a cloud-like ride, it's made for working hard. Nevertheless, the Silverado 2500 HD rides with pleasing composure despite its work remit and is not a chore to pilot, except for the obvious issue of maneuvering such a large full-size truck in confined spaces. It's both here and on the move where you'll notice that the vague, imprecise, and slow steering is also devoid of feel, and this might bother some people more than others. The gas V8 is still competitive and has enough power on tap, but its use of a six-speed automatic does not make for quite the effortless progress of the powerful turbo diesel with its 910 LBFT and 10-speed Allison automatic transmission. Excellent towing numbers and advanced standard and optional towing tech take much of the stress out of towing big rigs, but you'll never forget you're driving a hefty pickup. 
2023 Silverado 2500 HD Exterior. The Silverado is a chunky monstrosity, but the particularly aggressive front fascia will appeal to those who want a truly imposing truck. The front grille is enormous, intersected by a large horizontal bar with an engraving of the manufacturer's name. The grille changes as you move up the trim levels, however, with the signature Chevrolet golden bowtie only displayed on the top of the range high country. Halogen headlights frame the grille on the lower trims, but from the LTZ up, LED headlights, taillights, and fog lights become the standard. Three body types are available, regular, double, and crew cab, along with two bed lengths, standard or long bed. Wheel sizes differ, too, with 17-inch wheels coming standard, while 18 and 20-inch wheels are available. Dimensions Models equipped with the regular cab, RC, measure 235.5 inches in length, while the double cab, DC, can measure 240.45 to 256.5 inches, depending on your choice of bed, regular or long, and the crew cab, CC, models stand between 249.95 and 266 inches long. Wheelbase lengths vary, too, with the RC coming with a 141.55 inch wheelbase. The DC's wheelbase can be either 149.4 or 162.48 inches, while the CC gets a 158.94 to 172 inch wheelbase. Height varies by a fraction of an inch across the range, although it stays between 79.65 and 79.95 inches. Similarly, width remains around 81.85 inches, with a few microns of difference between trim levels. With so many body configurations available, curb weight varies wildly. The lightest regular cab model weighs in at 5,914 pounds, while the heaviest crew cab, equipped with the long bed, can weigh as much as 6,950 pounds. 2023 Silverado 2500 HD Interior The Chevy pickup is all about getting the job done, and this ethos is reflected by the design of its cabin. The styling is minimalist and functional, with durable but quality materials used throughout. Rather than opting for flashy, high-tech controls, the Silverado gets physical buttons and knobs, making it supremely simple to operate the features. But that doesn't mean you will be living in the Stone Age, the infotainment suite is as modern as you could hope for on any other Chevrolet, and even if the screen isn't as large as what some competitors offer, it comes with all the bells and whistles. The truck even offers an optional head-up display, a rare treat for the segment. Seating and interior space Only three passengers can be accommodated within the regular cab on a front row bench, which comes standard on the WT and LT trims. The double and crew cabs increase capacity to six, except in the high country. The top-tier trim replaces the front row bench with a pair of bucket seats, reducing maximum capacity to five. Head and legroom in any of the cabin options are generous, easily accommodating even six-foot-tall adults. The back seats in the double cab are a bit cramped, but this is remedied in the crew cab, which provides a few extra inches of legroom. Four-way manual front seats come standard on the pickup, while the upper trims get 10-way power front seats with lumbar support. Thanks to the truck's overall height and the natural position of the seats, visibility is quite good. Unfortunately, these same factors can make ingress and egress a little difficult. Interior Colors and Materials The base-level Silverado work truck comes upholstered in vinyl, although cloth-appointed seats can be optioned at no additional cost. Regardless of material choice, jet black is the color available. The custom gets jet black cloth trim only. The LT also comes with the same standard upholstery, but leather is available in combination with either a multi-flex tailgate or powered tailgate. Both materials can be had in jet black or Gideon slash very dark atmosphere. The LTZ in high country comes standard with perforated leather upholstery, but instead of Gideon slash very dark atmosphere, the high country offers jet black slash umber hues. The cabin shows its ruggedness through its construction and materials, so there are quite a few hard plastics on display and the interior is trimmed in natural wood accents.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.